So I've been working on a blog and I got to a point where I started to have problems and I figured I might as well share what I had to do. I have a really easy Conan file where I'm just trying to build SDL and install it. But as you can see, trying to run this conanfile.txt, I end up getting version conflicts. So between SDL and SDL and the conflicting recipe is this guy. So first thing first, open a pull request. It's building. I'm bumping it to the correct version that I need so that everything's aligned. This problem will eventually go away in Conan Center once we have version ranges fully deployed, but until that day, that's the joys we have. So what do you do? First step is we switch to a different computer. And what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to translate your entire Conan file dot text into a Conan file dot py. Now, this is a pretty basic consumer only example, so there's not a lot to do, but just to get past so I can have that override flag, because you can't do it in a Conan file dot text or from the command line. You really have to do it from a recipe. So converting this over, I now have to make my class inheriting from Conan file. Generators are the same. These settings, these are fun. This is because we are using the CMake layout. Whoops. And you can see here, I just copied my requirements and put them in the requirements method. And all three of them are here. This is a conflict, so I got rid of it. Uh, this is a conflict as well. And I didn't realize that at first until I fixed this one. So I pin exactly the version and you can see I added the override attribute. My Windows PC also has the wrong version of CMake. So if I grab here and I do CMake dash dash version, you can see the correct version. Why? Because I probably have the wrong thing activated. So if I do which CMake, you can see it's actually coming from the package, which is perfect because I just installed it, which is what we want to see. So even better. Save this. And once again, we add our layout. This is the same. It's just the Python version equivalent of what we saw in our cone file.txt. So these two are the same. These are the same. This became a different requirement with an override. And you can see that translation is pretty much a one-to-one -one matching. These settings, uh, I've memorized these. These are the basic settings that you need for a package ID. And you can pretty much steal these out of any uh, Conan recipe. It's well documented. So once you do this though, however, and you run your Conan install with your Conan file, um, you should note I had to run, oh, what did it just do? I don't want magnifier. I had to specify my Conan file.py. So usually what I would do is I would just do Conan install with a dot for current directory. Ambiguous, both files exist. Thank you, Conan, you're actually smart. So if I run install with build missing, it'll run through. Uh, I ran it with update, so it'll take a second to look. You can see my overrides at the top. So most of the things are already in my cache because I already had them, there's no updates. Uh, there are a ton of build requirements because of the SDL graph. And you can see here, this is what the overrides came out to. All the system packages and everything's generated. So if I close this one and start over, the new terminal. Um, Conan examples, examples, libraries, SDL, we're back. Now, if I do CMake version, I have the wrong version installed. If we do which CMake, you can see this is the one that's installed with apt. So very simple. But if I try to do CMake preset and I try to build this, it gives me this wonky error message to unrecognize the error fields. Now, when you do your Conan install, 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. You'll notice in the output at the very end, it actually tells you that if your CMake version is less than 3.23, you're gonna have problems. And I have 3.22, because that's the default in whatever version of Ubuntu I have installed in WSL. So now that we know that, we can do the next thing, which is source our environment files. Whoops, source. We have build and run. And you can notice here, they're generated by default with Conan 2.0. So activate the build one. I'll manually type run. And now if I do Conan Witch, oops, or Witch CMake, it's pointing to the cache and I'm now gonna have the right version, which you already saw I did because I tested this and I figured it out. So you don't have to. Now, once I get here, I can do CMake, preset Conan release, and it just finds everything like it's supposed to, like a good little Conan project. We can add our build arguments with our preset. I'm only using a single config, so it's very easy, less complications. And my example is there and it works and it runs. You have a cute little game. You'll see this in the blog shortly. And that's it.